Quite a scene played out today in several communities. It started as a bank robbery, then a police chase, then a shooting at a bar. When it was all said and done, a, a bystander had been shot in the head. Local 12's Kristen Hauser joins us from where the chase came to an end in Forest Park. Kristen, I know you were talking to witnesses, right? Yeah, that's right. We tried to talk to as many people as we could to figure out just what happened here. Police say that this chase lasted several miles, it reached speeds of more than 80 miles an hour, but it all came to an end behind me when the suspect that we're talking about tried to make it through this intersection and he actually crashed into a car that was waiting to turn. This started with an armed robbery at the U.S. Bank on Route 4 in Woodlawn. Officers say they were able to find the suspect's car so quickly because there was a GPS unit in the cash bag from the bank. When they did, the driver fled and a uh, pursuit began. That car chase went through Woodlawn into Springdale, circled back through Springdale and again into Woodlawn and then onto Sharon Road. Officers say the suspect, 35-year-old Damian Smith from West Virginia, eventually crashed at the intersection of Waycross and Northland Roads. And then he jumped out, dude with the dreads jumped out, started running across the grass and then the police ran, he drove up on the grass after him and then he jumped out, the police was after him, about 10, 12 police. They took out, took off during. An officer happened to be right at the scene, saw the suspect jump out of the car and take off run into the cruising bar. Chief Arn says the officers heard Smith fire several shots inside the bar. 47-year-old Scott Ramsey, who police say was just an innocent bystander, was hit in the head with a bullet. Ramsey's in critical condition, but is stable. We're surmising uh, that he may have been firing at the officers as they were entering the bar to apprehend him. But Chief Arn says Smith was caught as he tried to run out the side door of the bar by a Hamilton County Sheriff's deputy. That was just like a movie out of a movie or something. My mom in the car, she shook up. Norman's just thankful her and her mother are safe tonight. If it would have been another 60 seconds, that could have been us. That's why I'm like, thank you God, I'm telling you, that could have been us. Now police tell me that after Damian Smith, the suspect here, ran out of the bar behind us that he actually threw his gun into a trash can before finally being arrested. Now luckily the driver that he's accused of hitting at that intersection, she's just fine tonight. Live in Forest Park, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Christian, thanks very much. Smith has a criminal record in West Virginia, North Carolina and Kentucky. Investigators are working to determine what charges Smith will face.